object in the history of mankind. James Bond's Aston Martin DB5, complete with its deadly array of weaponry, machine guns, bumper rammers, tire slashers, bulletproof shield and a famous ejector seat. Just a few other things on offer. Modern, magical, deadly, sounds ideal for a boy's toy. And within a year, a fully operational Corgi model was available. My dad says it's worth about £800. It's from 1965. Which, uh, my dad thinks this is really cool. And uh, they had an ejector seat. You press the button on the side. And the plastic seat would fly into the air and disappear behind the sofa. Next, the toy that came in from the cold. In 1980, from behind the Iron Curtain, came a device that bamboozled the West, the Rubik's Cube. Professor, how long ago did you design this? Five years ago. Five years? There are three billion possibilities, but only one answer. There's a bit there are more, more than three million. There are 43 million, million, million. Oh, so, <laughs> so it's not that difficult. <laughs> 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 There was nothing covert about Professor Erno Rubik's masterpiece. It exploded onto the global market, and by 1982, it was estimated that one in three households in the West had one. But did you know anyone who could do it? <laughs> to be good at Rubik's Cube, you need to understand that you have to solve it in layers rather than sides. Ah, layers. Since it came on the market, an estimated 350 million Rubik's Cubes have been sold, but it's still an elite group of men, boys and robots who can actually complete it. He's there! Dan, 20.23 seconds. Unbelievable stuff. Done.